Let's switch back to our clean image and uh, take a look at capturing some of this data, a uh, date and customer number um, and so forth. So I will go ahead and create a new element of the static text type and I will call this keyword date and I'll look for the keyword date and I will not allow any errors. Let's go ahead and match. And so it found the wrong date. Why did it prefer this date to this date? Quality. So there's a number of ways that I could fix that. The easiest way might be to match case. Or I could say closest to the header, uh, Debron Manufacture, that item. Let's match again. And now we found the proper date. And I will then create a character string. And we're going to review relations here. So I'll call this date. And relative to the keyword date, I want to look to the right of the right boundary. So this graphic here is really helpful. We see an arrow pointing to the right. And we want to capture this date. We have an offset capability. So if I put in an offset of, I can just take a guess, 170. That could be my start area. Let me make that a little bit bigger. I could have measured it. There we go. So there's my offset. And then to speed creating these relations up, I can duplicate this. And now I can say left of right with an offset of, I can measure, maybe I see the word dot, I see the word select tool and 529 by zero. So I could say an offset of 550. But you can see my green arrow was green search area was going in the wrong direction. I need to make that a negative offset. And now uh, that looks like it's in a good area. And I can highlight both of these relations and see what my search area looks like. Let's create two more relations. I'll duplicate this again. And I'll say above the bottom. I'm looking for a lowest boundary. If I put in an offset of zero, we can see the word date. And this is too close to the target date, so I might not get good results there. If I give it an offset, say, of 20, it's going, once again, in the wrong direction. It moved up when it needed to move down. I'll make that a negative offset. And minus 20 looks to be a little bit too big. You see we're getting close to the customer number. So I'll make that minus 10. That looks perfect. And then once again, I'll duplicate that above bottom, and I'll say below the top, minus 10. And now I can highlight all four of these, and you can see that I've properly found a relation. Now you can use a labeled field to capture the same data, but there are more options when you use the approach that I just showed you, where you have a keyword and a character string. Next, I want to capture customer number. And I could uh, search for the keyword customer, but I'm going to do something a little different. I'll just add another element of the character string type. And I'll call it not keyword customer, but just customer. And I'll open up my relations, and they're of course blank. But in Flexi Layout Studio, I can have two of these dialog boxes open at once. So I'll open up the date, and I'll look at the relations. These relations properly find this rectangle. I will drag these relations over, and that will copy uh, those relations. And now the customer field, if I match here, is going to find a rectangle for the date. It's going to find the very same rectangle for customer. 
I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit better. There's date, there's customer. So now I can make some minor modifications here. Uh, the right and left boundaries are perfect, but I could say below the bottom of the word date, the keyword date with an offset of not negative 10, but positive 10. So we can see my upper boundary is correct. And then above the bottom with an offset of minus 10. Let's measure. We might not want to add uh, 50 more to that. If you look uh, at the bottom of my screen, you see the word dot and the words select tool and you see eight by 50. So if I said minus 60 here, that's excellent. So I can just make a few quick changes and now I'm properly capturing that second rectangle for customer number. I'll match my document and just check this. There I found my date and there I found my customer number. Now I want to capture the sales tax. It happens to have the value of export. I'll add an element of the, nope, let me clone customer and then I will call customer sales tax and of course if I match now it's going to find the same rectangles for sales tax for customer and sales tax so we see that right there um, I can take a different approach here if I look at my relations, the right and left relations are fine for capturing the sales text. But once again, we need to change the below and above relations. So this needs to be dragged down. And um, you actually can do some dragging. Um, it says so right here. Um, and you need to be in reference layout mode and the reference element should be marked. So let's just back out of here for a second and I will go to this document and I will copy this match layout to reference and then I'll go back in to my relations and it said that if I'm in a reference layout mode which is right here then I can actually drag the boundaries of relations. So now I can move this. Before doing those uh, other steps, I could not do dragging. I'll save the change, and then I'll look at my above boundary, and I'll drag this down as well. And this can come in very handy when you're dealing with uh, documents with really small fields, really small targets, uh, very complex repeating groups. Uh, so I thought it would be good to show you that approach. We'll match and test, and we see that we found date, customer, and sales tax. Now, we talked about having a damaged document where we're keying off of date to get all of this data. What if this data, this area was reliably damaged? We could do the exact same technique, say, based off the keyword designation. Using relations, we could find first the date, then below that customer, then below that sales tax. And depending on your situation, that could be a good thing to do.